we're here today because the council uh, wants to cut 1.6 million pounds from our budget. Uh, the council already cut 2.3 million pounds um, in 2012. So this will leave us in real terms over 60% worse off. The first lot of cuts, people have had to work harder and deliver more and everything was really cut to the bone in terms of all kinds of support work. This time, there's, there's no fat to trim. So what's being cut is the services. Two youth centres closing, um, connections, careers support being cut by 70%, the budget cuts, um, and the universal youth service. So the youth service is being open for young people to go into and engage in activities will be cut by two thirds nearly. There's the YAGs, which are I think going to be cut um, and they hold Dragon's Den events and they delegate money out to little organisations within the borough so they have a budget of 25 grand and then give one or two grand to different people empowering young people. The Camden Cool Project which again is being cut gives people who are on free school meals the opportunity to go to the gym or to have tutoring or to go to the cinema or even just giving them the opportunities they wouldn't normally have. No ifs, no buts, no youth service cuts. 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 They involve us in trips, they let us like they give us opportunities that we're not going to find elsewhere. So uh, from young, I've been going to a local youth club. Through that, I meet a lot of good um, connections and it brings the community together as a whole. And I just think that the next generation should get exactly what I've got and they should be given the same opportunities. There's a lot of antisocial behaviour that goes on in Camden and the youth services helps to cut that down. Of course, it's not going to completely be eradicated because that's, that's, like, that's something for the future, but I think that it's, been, it's helped cut it down a lot. The government hands over tens of millions of pounds to the private prison system who profit and abuse young people, as we've seen uh, in Group 4 in Medway, where staff were beating children, that they were being paid £160,000 a year to look after. If they can pay Group 4 £160,000 to beat young people, why can't they fund this service? It costs £160,000 to keep a youth offender in custody for a year. If these cuts are made, 10 more young people in custody for a year, that's equal to the budget that, that's going. There's other funding that we can do to raise the money so that the cuts doesn't, don't have to happen. Closing down youth clubs, it ain't going to benefit no one. It's, it's, it's a loss rather than a gain. If we just got all the tax that was being avoided, if we just had that money, we could fund all the youth services in the country. Like, it's absolutely ludicrous. No cuts, no youth service cuts, no ifs, no buts. Our youth services are being cut, um, they're not telling the young people, I found out from my own sources and that's really sad, other boroughs are still being cut, as member youth parliament all of London is suffering these other cuts as well. I feel like the government don't understand, they tell us to get off the streets, they tell us to get an education, they tell us to do so many things, but they never want to fund what actually put, what puts it into perspective. Things like youth services, youth council, youth work, all get young people off the streets, it gets people active, it gets young people coming together acting like decent citizens which they want us to be but then when it comes down to it they want to cut our youth services they want to take everything that we work for away and they're still going to call us um, destructive young people like we don't care about politics this is young people politics we can't vote but we can fight for what we believe in and i feel like that needs to be done we're bombing syria like every bomb costs about a million pounds and i think it's insane that we're spending that amount of money on killing innocent civilians when we could be saving so many young people in Camden. No ifs, no buts, no youth service cuts. 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 We want the council um, to go back and rethink these cuts proposals. Labour talk a lot about being opposed to cuts. You know, rather than implement them, we want them to join us in campaigning against the cuts on a national level. Tonight is obviously an important step in developing a real campaign, a real campaign of opposition to these swinging cuts to your youth service. But it has to go much further 
beyond the deputations in the council chamber tonight and onto the streets of Camden and other boroughs across the capital and up and down the country. Me and Georgia Gould together are organising a, a march to um, Downing Street to really fight against this on a national level and to really just show that we are we care and it's important. We're going to have a public meeting in March um, for uh, members of the community and people to come and you know talk about their experiences with service and what we can do and we're going to have a further demonstration in April um, when the council are going to make their decision on whether or not to approve the cuts. No ifs, no buts, no use service